Hi, good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Smith. Melissa joins us in just a second. We want to start right away with the latest on that deadly plane crash happening in Seneca County. First, we want to get to what we know. The Ohio State Highway Patrol tonight saying that the plane went down at about 1047. That was about two miles east of the city of Faustoria near Crestview Drive. Now, two people and we're talking the pilot, the two pilots on board. They were killed in the crash. And finally, the last nugget. NTSB investigators arriving at the scene earlier this afternoon and most have left for the day. Our Madeline Watkins, she has been on the scene all day long. She's joining us now live. You spoke to a few neighbors out there who heard that crash last night. What are they saying today? Yeah, Jeff, I will tell you that it's a pretty quiet scene right now here where this deadly crash happened in Fostoria. But I will say that investigators with the National Transportation of Safety Board, they arrived earlier this afternoon around one o'clock, but they were out shortly after around probably 3.30. They were able to come in and survey the damage. If you take a look back way in the distance, there's a wooded area. It's about a half a mile off of Crestview Drive. That's where I'm currently at in Fostoria. There are still some investigators back there surveying the damage, but like we said, most of them have already left for the day. And here's some video of what it looked like earlier this afternoon when there were investigators actively here on scene. So an Ohio State Highway Patrol helicopter was flying above this wooded area where the deadly crash happened killing the pilot Shane Halbrook and the co-pilot Michael Wright. Both of the men are in their 50s. So I spoke with some neighbors who live in the area and most of them actually didn't hear anything last night. They were awakened this morning by the flashing lights when the officers arrived and were able to locate the plane as well as the two victims. But I did catch up with the woman who called 911 right when it happened. It was 1045. I was in my home at my desk and I heard a loud single engine close airplane really close <laughs> did it scare you yeah yes it did and it's followed by two large clunk clunks now I did also speak with the investigator from the NTSB with who was currently back there who was back there earlier today that is and there are still investigators back there in the area, of course, but we can learn more about how long this investigation will take. I'll have more of those details coming up tonight at six and more about what that investigator had to say about this incident. For now, I'm live in Fostoria, Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.